Okay, good afternoon, students, and welcome back to English class. Um, I hope you had a fun weekend and everything went good. Um, today, we will be talking about different kinds of places in a city. You will find these places in any and every city and most small towns. City places. So these are different places that you can see or visit in a city, uh, different businesses, places you can spend money and do activities. So there are many different types of places in a city. I will show you some pictures and you tell me what these places are. To begin with, we will start with some very common places that you should already know, especially if you are in IEP, this should be review. I think you should know these. If you know the places, you can type in the chat what the name of the place is. Okay. So the first place is, it's four letters, and now I'll show you a picture. And it looks like this. Do you know what this place is called? Where children can play. There's lots of trees and flowers and grass. Uh, so yes, no, no, this is a park. It is spelled P-A-R-K, park. So I hope you know this place already. Another place to review, there are six letters in this word. Here is a picture. This one is very easy. As you can see, the six letters school. are in the picture. Yes, school. this one is easy. It's school, S-C-H-O-O-L. So it has a C-H, but is like Christmas, a K sound, not ch. Okay, next one, eight letters. I hope you know this one too. It is where you can go if you are sick, there is a problem with you, or you have COVID. What is this place? Ah, it has eight letters. It is hospital. Hospital. You spell it H-O-S-P-I-T-A-L. So hospital. Once again, I hope most of you know about a hospital. The next one has two words. The first word has six letters. The second word has seven letters. So it's a little bit more difficult. But the first word I think you can figure out with six letters right here. So the first word is police. You know the second word. The second word is uh, station, police station. And it is spelled P O L I C E S T A T I O N, police station. So again, the next one is two words. The first one is four letters, the second one is six letters. So see if you know this word. It is where you go to send letters to people or packages. If you want something sent to Canada or America, you must go here to send it. Do you know what this place is called? Maybe a little bit more difficult. So the first word is post, P-O-S-T. And the sixth letter is office, post office, O-F-F-I-C-E. If you don't know this one, you should review because I think post office, you should know. So next one is six letters. This one I think you should also know. It is where you go to pray or you give food to monks. Or you just go to look at the beautiful building. This is where monks live. Where do monks live? And it starts with a T. A T. And has six letters. 
uh, it is a temple. T E M P L E, temple. Okay, the next one again has two words. The first one has seven letters, and the second word has five letters. But it can also be a different word, two words that mean the same thing. So the first thing that you can say is two words, seven letters, and five letters. There is another word, though, also that is 11 letters, just one word. So two words that mean the same thing. And it is where you go to buy food. So it can be like Tops Market or Tesco Lotus, a place like this. There are two different ways to say it. Ah, supermarket. Yes, that is one word and 11 letters. So this one is supermarket. There is another way to say the same thing though. And it is a type of store. Uh, supermarket or grocery store. Grocery. Grocery is a word for food, but is not cooked. It's not like a restaurant. A restaurant, they will give you cooked food. A grocery store, you buy food and then you go home and cook. So it's food that's not cooked. Many times you will just say a market in Thailand, you, similar to a market or a supermarket, a very big market in one store. Okay, so again, there are two different words for the same thing. Now, and each one has two words. One is six letters and five letters, and the other is four letters and seven letters. So this is a little bit confusing, but maybe you can figure out one of these. It is where girls can go to get their hair cut, maybe their makeup done. Things like this. Okay, can you figure out, ah, hair salon. Um, a hair salon, it can be a hair salon. That is a mixture between these four letters and these five letters. It can be a hair salon, yes. That is not, I should have put another way to say it too. So you can call it uh, also a beauty salon. A beauty salon or a hair salon. You can say both, or you can say a hairdresser. So this is the person who is cutting your hair. They are known as a hairdresser. So you can say, I'm going to the hairdresser. So the next one is 10 letters or the same four letters and seven letters. So it can also be a hairdresser but is where boys will go to get their hair cut. So you, for boys, you can also say hairdresser, but there is another word, 10 letters long, one word. Hair salon for girls and hairdresser for boys, or starts with a B. You know, a word for where boys get their hair cut, that starts with B. It is barber shop, barber shop. So this is where boys can go to get their hair cut. Also, you can say hairdresser or a barber. You can say both for boys or girls hairdresser. Okay, so this one is maybe new for you. Maybe you don't know this word. Um, so it is two words. It's like a 7-Eleven or Family Mart or Tesco Express. It is a small store where you can buy many things. Maybe you can buy a toothbrush, you can buy water, you can buy bread, you can buy candy. You can buy many things. So the second word, the five-letter word, is not difficult. 
but the 11 letter word is quite difficult word. I don't know if you know, it starts with a C. Usually we would say a convenience store. Convenient means it is easy. Something is easy to do, it's convenient. So a convenience store means it is very easy to go there and get things. There are many 7-Elevens, so you can go, it will be close to your house usually, and you can go and get many things there. It's not far away, it is convenient, it is easy to go to, easy to buy things. Okay, so that's kind of review, the review that we will do. Um, so now I will give you words that maybe you don't know. These are a bit less common. Maybe you have never heard them before. Maybe you do know them. If you know them, you can try to guess in the chat. But if you don't know that, it's okay. They might be new words for you. Okay, so the first one, I try to start easy. So it's only three letters. You go there to exercise. You know, a three letter word. You go to exercise. I'll show you a picture too. Ah, gym. Yes. This is a gym. You do not say gyam or gym. You say the G like a J in gym. Okay, so that's the easy one. I try to start off with easy. This one is not so easy. Okay, so it is two words. First word is four letters, second word is five letters. And you go there to have your nails painted. So if you want beautiful nails on your hand with colors, you can go to this place. I'll show you a picture. So to try to help you, the four letter word is this word. And the five letter word is similar to before where girls go to get their hair cut. Uh, yes, na -na, nail salon. This is called a nail salon. So you can have a hair salon where you go to get your hair cut or a nail salon, you go and get your nails painted and look beautiful. So the next one is again, two words, five letters and six letters. You go here to take dance classes. As you can see, dance is underlined and is five letters. So can help you a little bit. So the first word is dance, five letter word. When you go here to dance, I can show you a picture. It's often where uh, dance school, that's a good guess, but uh, usually you would say is a dance studio. A studio is a place where you can do uh, go to do artsy things. So like a movie studio, you will go to make a movie. Or a music studio, you go to make music. Or a dance studio, you go to dance. So studio, S-T-U-D-I-O, studio. Okay, so the next one is six letters. This is if you want to drive a car over water or drive a motorcycle over water, you will drive on this. This is a picture of a famous one in San Francisco. And you know what it is called? Six letters. If you want to drive over water, drive a car or a train or a motorcycle, anything to go over water. We'll start with a B. And you guess this word. No, oh, maybe you don't know this word. This is a bridge, bridge, B-R-I-D-G-E. Uh, so the G-E makes a J sound. If G and E are together, it makes a J sound. So bridge, bridge, bridge. The D and the J sound kind of mix into one sound, bridge. Okay, so the next one is four letters. Um, 
it is a place where boats come to stop. So boats may be out on the water and then they come to park. Where do boats stop? The name of the place can show you a picture. So this is a place where big boats come from maybe China or America and take things off of the boat. So a place where boats go to stop, actually there are two different words. So this is where big boats go. Very big boats from countries all over the world go to a place called a port. Port, P-O-R-T. But it is different. It's a little bit different if you're talking about small boats. If you're talking about a place like this, where you have just a little boat, just for your family, not, not a boat from America with big things on it. It's just a small little place to park a boat. Then we would call it a pier. Pier. P-I-E-R. Pier. So a port is for big boats. A pier is for small boats. Or maybe you can just walk. Um, so you what? One thing you can think of is Bung Si Phai. Bung Si Phai has a pier. It does not have a port. A pier. You can walk out onto the water. There is wood there that you can walk on and you'll be over top of water. So that's a pier. A port is for big boats. Okay, so next one. Next is eight letters. This is a place you go to buy medicine. think Nana, your family has one of these. So not a hospital, you can buy medicine at a hospital, but if it's just medicine, or oh, a drugstore, I didn't think of that. Yes, a drugstore. This is a drugstore or another word for a drugstore is a pharmacy. Uh, pharmacy or drugstore, they mean the same thing. You can use both. So pharmacy starts with a PH. PH makes an F sound in English. If you are writing in Thai, I know it makes a P sound like P chip. Starts with PH, but in English, PH makes an F sound like an elephant or photo, things like this, or pharmacy. PH makes an F sound. Okay, so next one is six letters. And this is a place you buy, if you go to buy bread, you can buy cake, desserts, uh, pastries, things like that. Things that you make in an oven. Ah, yes. Oh, I forgot to show you a picture. So this is, it always smells very nice in a bakery. So as you can see, uh, the word to bake, B-A-K-E, means to cook in an oven. And so a bakery is a place where you go. A baker with the R is the person who will bake. So a baker is a person who bakes, and they do it in a bakery. Okay, so the next one is seven letters. Uh, I think this is the last one. So this is a place where you go to buy flowers, a place where they sell flowers. Do you know what it's called? The name of the person and the place is the same thing. The name of the place, we just name it after the person, like a hairdresser is the same for this. The name of the person is the same as the name of the place. Uh, flower store. Uh, flower store is a good guess, but we would call it a florist. Florist. Uh, as you can see, it's similar to flower, F-L-O, um, but we would say florist, florist. Okay, so I think that's all the words, yes. So we'll just review quickly the words that we just learned. So there is gym, a place that you go to exercise. There is nail salon, a 
place where you go to get your nails painted and look beautiful. There is a dance studio. This is where you go to dance and learn to dance or practice dancing. A bridge is where you drive a car over water or you drive a motorcycle over water or a train over water. There is a port or a pier. This is where you can park a boat or stop a boat. Port is for big boats. Pier is for small boats. Pharmacy or drugstore. I didn't think about drugstore, but both these words mean a place where you buy medicine. A bakery is where people bake things for you to buy. And then the last one is florist. A florist is a place where you buy flowers. Okay, so now I will give you scrambled letters and you try to figure out what the word is and how to spell it. Maybe you can. Can you figure out what word this is? Two words. Uh, that's not, not correct. This is nail salon. Is not L N I A. Is N A I L N S A L O N. Ah, yes, very good. This one is easy. Three letter word is always easy, I think. So yes, YMG changes to GYM, Jim. How about this one? T O F S L I R. Do you know what word this is? Is a person who sells flowers. you remember how to spell? <laughs> Close. Close. Almost. Is F-L-O-R-I-S-T, Forest. How about this one? This is you drive a car over water on this, or a train, or a motorcycle. Can you remember how to spell this word? Uh, yes, bridge, B-R-I-D-G-E. Now about this one, this is where big boats will stop and unload their cargo. Only four letters, I think it's a little bit easy. Uh, size of a P, P-O-R-T. Port. Now about this one. Can you remember this one? This is where you will go to practice dancing or learn to dance. Well, I think you can know the first word easily. The second word is studio. S T U D I O. Ah, okay. You guys can remember very good. How about this one? Another word for this is drugstore, a place where you go to buy medicine. Can you remember how to spell? Yes, very good. So this is pharmacy, P-H-A-R-M-A-C-Y. Some of you can remember well. Okay, how about this one? This is where you go to park small boats. Well, you can go see at Bung Si Fai, a place that you can walk on wood over top of water. This is a pier, pier, P-I-E-R. Very good. Now about this one, Y-R-K-B-A-E. What word is this? This is where you can go to buy fresh bread or maybe donuts or cakes. Uh, <laughs> uh, bakery, yes. 
B-A-K-E-R-Y, bakery. Okay, so last thing for today, uh, I will give you sentences and you write which word is missing. So I won't give you the letters before I give you the letters and you have to make them correct. But now I will not give you the letters. You just have to try to figure out what goes in the blank and remember how to spell it. So the first one, I buy bread at the, where can you buy bread? Do you remember all the letters? I think it's a little bit easy because it's the last one that we did. It's a bakery, it's the same as we just unscrambled. So the next one is, I learned to dance at A. Where do you learn to dance? Oh, students are still writing bakery. I thought I learned to dance at a bakery. Yes, I learned to dance at a dance studio. Correct, correct, correct. How about this one? Can you remember how to spell this word? I buy flowers at a... I think this one was a little bit difficult for you to remember how to spell. Mm, to help you, the first three letters are the same as flower. Uh, flower shop, we don't really say flower shop. Um, I guess you could, a flower store, people would know what you're saying, but we would generally say florist. So, how about a boat from China? Stop at a, da, 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 to unload or take off 500 containers. So, a very big boat from China. This one is only four letters. Oh, yes. Port. Correct. How about if it's just a little boat? I park my little rowboat at a place for just a little boat. Oh, yes. Again, here. P-I-E-R. Correct. How about this one? I exercise at a... This one is always easy. Only three letters. Uh, gym. Yes. Gym, gym, gym. Yes, everybody can answer this one. How about this one? To go over water. I drive on a... Can you remember how to spell this word? Starts with a B. Uh, yes, bridge. B R I D G E. All right. Uh, how about this one? I buy medicine at a, a drugstore or a. What is another word for drugstore? Still waiting, bridge. Another word for a drugstore. Uh, pharmacy or drugs, so yes, P-H, not F, you cannot write F-A-R-M. There's a place where you can go rice or vegetables. How about this one? I get my nails painted at a, where can you go to make your nails beautiful? Strong Jai, where do you get your nails painted? Uh, nail salon yes okay that's all the time for today so thank you for listening to english and writing about places in a city so i will see you tomorrow and have a good day goodbye <laughs>